You place a confident foot on the wooden floor of what you assume must be Rosalina's room. You open your eyes, seeing what feels like a superposition of the real and the fake. Don't let it trick you again. Its powers are already struggling to maintain their grip on you. You continue. You feel the door frame under your palm and the, stu the sturdy walls of the hallway beyond. We're almost out. I knew it. I knew this ghost wasn't a big deal. No, Tabitha, it's a big fucking deal. It's a big fucking deal. It's only faltering now because it's exhausted. Don't underestimate the spirit, Tabitha. You stumble into the corridor between the annex and the library. The real world swims closer and closer to, be, to being back in focus. The doors. Come on, Kiwi, we're almost there. I love our dumb name. I know. You and Tabitha fall forward the entrance. You and Tabitha fall towards the entrance, your legs still unsure of the ground beneath you, and the doors fly open. Okay. All right, you're outside. It's real this time. A cool autumn breeze blows small piles of dried leaves across the steps of the library. Oh, congrats. We gave the ghost the library. I can enjoy its books. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, I wasn't, I'm not sacrificing any, any of our lives. I'm, I'm going to peace out. Back to back encounters with my own mortality. I, I've got a lot to ponder. He's, you're going to go have so much weed. Yeah. See, see you, Rosalina. See you, Alexis. <laughs> <laughs> Zane walks off down the road. Oh, Oscar's house. Uh, finally, we're out of the fun house. But the spirit remains. It would have been much better to banish the thing. It spread from the annex to the entire building. Anyone who steps foot in there might be subject subjected to its torment. Not my problem. Not Kiwi Ant's problem. I don't want anyone else in town to have to experience that. That was awful. My bones were not meant to bend like that. I've never been so sore in my life. Oh god, they physically felt that. Yeah. We'll board the place up and say there was a gas leak. There, fix it. Oh, Tabby. I suppose I'll have to find another place for me and Rosalinda to stay. This was such a disaster. I'm so sorry to have brought you all into that this house. I should have left the place to rot. You and Ros- <clears throat> Oh, it's Alexis. You and Rosalina could always stay with us, Mr. Gutierrez. I wouldn't want to impose on your parents like that. It's a lot to ask. I can figure this out. Um. Oh. I've made a huge mistake. Do you think the ghost will let me back in for a do-over? I hope you're not mad at me for getting out of there. The impending doom coming for the town is more important than a single ghost. I have to be at my best if we're going to get to the bottom of this. We needed to regroup and think about our options. I wasn't about to make a deal like that in the heat of the moment. I'm sorry, I just don't think I could have handled the uncertainty of an early death hanging over me for the rest of my life. I couldn't trust that ghost to uphold its end of the deal. I wasn't about to give up part of my life for a house. I wasn't about to give up part of my life to make amends for something I didn't do. I mean, yeah, that's a good one, honestly. Uh, keep going. Okay. I wasn't about to give up part of my life when Tabitha was right there. Ooh. Ooh. If anything, is, if anyone has benefited from what our family's done, it's her. Maybe the government can rent you another house. Don't let your pride get in the way of a roof, Oscar. I'm really sorry we couldn't get rid of your ghost, Oscar. Is there room at the estate? Any ideas, Tabitha? Remain silent. Okay, we have some explorers exploration we could do, so... Um... Do you want to try a do-over, or...? No. Uh... I think the one that I liked the most was, um... Where is it? Uh, I wasn't about to give up part of my life to make amends for something I didn't do. Yeah. This one. That one. Yes, 100%. I wasn't about to give up part of my life to make amends for something I didn't do. 
Neither was I. The things that Ghost was upset about happened way before we were born. Why should either of us have to pay that price? I mean, Kiwi had never set foot in this town before this week. They barely count as a scarlet in my books. You, on the other hand, have been re reaping the rewards of your family's actions your entire life. Reaping the rewards? What are you talking about? The only reward I've reaped is working myself half to death keeping this town afloat. Yeah, I don't think she's reaped many rewards. Yeah. Or any rewards. Do you think it's easy to run a coal mine? Do you think it's easy to have grown up with Pearl Ann as your mother? Was I supposed to make things even harder on myself by making yet another sacrifice? I absolutely agree with Tabby here. Holy shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yes. Ugh, Kanika, no. Kanika, no. Damn. Easy for you to say. You weren't given a choice tonight. It's okay, Kanika. It's just a house. We don't even own it. And even, if, even if we did, that ghost was asking for quite the down payment. It's more than just a house. It's also the library and the town hall. And even barring that, it's a dangerous space that we're just leaving there because Tabitha didn't have the guts to put other people before herself? That's rough, Kanika. I, I really kind of disagree completely with that. Yeah. Like, it's one thing to be like, oh, yeah, here's money. Like, I could throw a bunch of money at it. Sure, if, if she even has that. But her actual physical life? Like, nah. Yeah, and see, the thing is, too, um, Kanika's tune would change completely if it wasn't Tabitha in this position. Like, if it was Stella in yeah. Tabitha's position, she would not be saying this. Yeah, I agree. She would not even be thinking it. Yep. Children, children, there's no use quibbling over the details right now. At least for the time being, the spirit has only grown in strength. If either Kiwi Ant or Tabitha went back in there, I can only imagine its demands of them would be that much steeper. Oh, fuck. There's no, there's no walking this back. Great. Then we all, in principle, agree. It's done. Let's move on. I, I, I kind I, of want to defend Tabitha in I, this instance. I, I, I because, do too. Yeah, like I just said, if anybody except Tabitha was in this position, Kanika would not be coming down on her. Yeah, I think, I really think we should. Yeah. Get off my cousin's back, Kanika. She doesn't owe anyone anything. Oh, look at She had an actual smile. Oh, God. Tabby, I didn't see it. Yeah. To the contrary, I'd say the Scarlets owe a lot of people right now. This town was built on the labor of other people, and it was apparently built on murder, too. I've never murdered anyone. No, but you inherited the mines and most of, of the land in town. Ah. <sighs> Uh, like she had any control over that. This, I mean, I, I hate to say this, but this kind of feels very like that in the same vein of performative activism. Yeah. Like it's like, yeah, I, I agree. We should, the system is broken and you should do things to change it. But singling out the one person who has literally done nothing and seems to very clearly, you know, have her own issues with everything that's happened. Like mm -hmm. that's not fair. Yeah. Yeah. You know, she's saying yeah. reap the benefits. I'm like, have you seen where she lives? She, the house is falling. She barely has a house. Yeah. You know, she's got a rotting family manor that she doesn't bother to fix because does she even have the money to? It seems, yeah. It seems like this town is dying. Mm-hmm. So. Let's all take a deep breath. I think everybody's a little high strung tonight. That was quite the ordeal you all went through. Thanks for having my back, Kiwi Ant. That was surprising. Um, I think, let's say, don't let your pride get in the way of a roof, Oscar, because we have Rosalina to think of. Yeah, exactly. She needs a roof. Yeah. Don't let pride get in your way of a roof, Oscar. Oscar sighs. You're right. You're right. Okay, fine. Your oh. cousin grumbles. Uh, oh, offer to stay with us? I don't usually do this kind of thing. The properties we own are for the miners, but there is a house that's vacant right now that might be suitable. You know the old Maxwell place? 
Oh, the, the the Maxwell place. Oh yeah, the place where the teens all hung out until it was no longer cool or secret or something. What? You can't be serious. That place is falling apart. Look, I'll tell you what. I won't even make you pay rent for the first month. Oh my god. Consider a repayment for not literally giving up my soul to get rid of a ghost that wasn't causing any problems until the two of you lived there. Tabby? Tabby. 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 Oh. I had such high hopes. I, you know, she's still dealing with shit. Yeah, that's funny. I thought it was your family that pissed off the ghost. Your cousin furiously pulls out a key ring before picking off one and handing it to Oscar. It is a roof. Yeah. Thank you. This really means a lot to me and Rosalina. Dot, dot, dot. Now, if all of you don't mind, I'm going to go home. I think I've had enough social interaction for a lifetime tonight. Finish up whatever you have to do here. I'll wait by the car. Tabitha doesn't wait for you to respond, pushing past you and heading towards the car. Like, okay, anyone can see that she's not just being, like, miserly. She clearly has a lot of, of problems that she keeps pent up and really yep. feels like no one can really relate to her, which Kanika just kind of proved was the point. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, Kanika's not even trying to understand. Yeah. Because her dislike is so just... It's front and center. Yeah. And she can't see around it. To think that ghosts are actually real. Stella's got to be over the moon right now. Actually, wait, where is Stella? She's right there. Oh, she's just standing there by herself. I doesn't like her. Uh, is she okay? Uh, or do we just want to go talk to her? Um, yeah, let's go talk to her. I'm going to go check in with her. You walk over to Stella. I've never seen anything like what we saw tonight. Absolutely dreadful. And I don't think my dear Stella is having an easy time with it. Oh. Hey, Huey Ant. Uh, you okay? Yeah. You okay? I'm so sorry, Kiwi Ant. I... I don't think I can talk right now. I'll call you, okay? She hurries off down the road. No. Oh. Uh, I think she took the brunt of things in there. No one's having a hard time right now. So I think Stella might be a bit of a... No. No. I guess she hit her limit. Uh, I think either this or that she hit her limit. Yeah. Let's... I think this one. That's a good one. Yeah, let's do that one. I think she took the brunt of things in there. No wonder she's having a hard time right now. Should we go after her? I think she just needs some time to herself. Stella's never been the kind to share her burdens, and I doubt that'll change just because somebody goes chasing after her. If anything, it'd just make her clam up even more. She's a strong girl. She'll be okay. I'm honestly surprised she and Zane are the only ones heading out right now. You've all been through something awful, and each and every one of you needs rest. Especially you, Kanika. We don't want that cold of yours to get any worse. Wait, she's sick? I God. guess so. God, what a disaster this whole night has been. I had no idea it would turn out like this. I'm so sorry, everyone. Stop apologizing, Dad. We're the ones who don't have a house anymore. We don't even have a library now. Uh, there was another carving in there. Um, I'm really sorry, Oscar. I'm really sorry, Rosalina. What do we do about the library? Were you all conscious that whole time? There's a lot here. That, uh, yeah. Like do you think any of you knew who you were supposed to be? Okay, let's, uh, let's mention the carving. Sure. There was a carving in there. Another carving. I wonder if th those things are tied to everything supernatural that's been happening. Yeah. Okay. I wonder if those things are tied to everything supernatural that's been happening. Yeah, I wonder. One is a coincidence, but two of them on back-to-back -back nights? I'm... Sorry, I'm a little lost. Have you been finding carvings around town? I remember you mentioning that this morning. There's more than one of those things? 
I'm sure everyone here could stand around theorizing about this and all this and that all night long. There'll be plenty of time for that tomorrow. Will there, Sybil? Will yeah. there? Uh, Wayne. Time to Wayne. Wayne. I ran into Wayne in one of those rooms, and he vaguely threatened Stella if I kept poking around. Wait, are you serious? Should we be worried about her? Um. Of course, yeah, I don't, I don't know. I think he's harmless. Uh, he also crushed a ditchling with his bare yeah. hands. He was pretty scary. He also crushed a ditchling with his bare hands. It was pretty scary. That's just another reason we should keep our distance. Stella's smart. Hopefully she'll be okay. Did he say anything else to you? We don't need to trouble Kiwi Ant for any details. No one pay any mind to that man. No, Sybil! Hmm. He's just a drifter. He'll be gone soon enough. In the meantime, steer clear and he won't make trouble. Sybil, what are you up to? I have so many questions about this woman because, uh -huh. like, she's mystical enough to break us out of that ghost trial. To just walk in like, oh, hey! Yeah, here I am in my pink slippers. And then she's like, oh, fuck it. Oh, yeah, Wayne, don't worry about Wayne. It's like, Sybil? Sybil, I'm gonna Sybil. worry about Wayne. I'm gonna worry about Wayne. Okay. Uh, let's apologize to Oscar. I'm really sorry, Oscar. I'm really sorry, Rosalina. It's okay. Worst things have happened to people and the price was just too high. We'll find a way to pick things up. I don't... I know you did everything you could for us, Kiwi Ant. It was probably smart not to trust that ghost anyways. Yeah! That's you. Oh, sorry. You... You won't have to do it alone, Oscar. You... You can help yourself to whatever you need from the store. Yeah, I'm sure Aunt Winnie and I can help you out, too. Yeah. This is a good town full of good people, Kiwi Ant. We won't let this ruin Oscar. Uh... What do we do about the library? Yeah. Uh, what do we do about the library? We can always board it up until the ghost goes away, right? The mines were boarded up, and that just made us want to go down there even more. Oh, yeah. Stupid teens are going to go in there. Mm-hmm. We can't just tell them it's mega haunted. Even if folks believe us, they'll just make them, that'll just make them want to investigate for themselves. Maybe Tabitha had the right idea. Maybe we just say there's a gas leak. Sybil, is there a chance this goes away on its own? Is Oh, sorry. I'm looking at chat. Yeah, me too. I'm not really an authority on these things, but it doesn't seem interested in fading away. Okay, that's settled then. We board it up. We say there was a gas leak. And just hope no one gets curious, I guess. It's one of the it's the best we can do for now. Uh were you conscious that whole time? Sure. Were you all conscious that whole time? We know they were. Yeah, they were. Everyone glances at each other. Yeah. It was awful. Kind of fun, too, but mostly awful. Oh, I'm, Avery. I'm pretty sure we would remember everything, at least up until Sybil showed up and snapped us out of it. Uh, do we want to ask them what it was like? I don't want... I would not ask that in real life. Yeah, uh, okay. I, that feels like a really ghoulish question, even though we are just playing a video uh, okay. game. How about, do any of you know who you were supposed to be? That could be... Inf inf That's... A, yeah, that could be interesting. That could be helpful. Do you, any of you know who you were supposed to be? No idea. The words just came out. There was no context, nothing. But there was a weird feeling, like an overwhelming guilt. I was so angry. I was mostly just scared. That makes sense for the characters they were playing. Yeah. I didn't feel any of those things. I felt... I don't know how to describe it. I felt powerful. I was just cold. Oh. Hey, Avery, we can keep you warm. We can keep you warm. We, we should probably get going. It's starting to get chilly out, and I don't want to keep Alexis' patterns up too late. I'll be over later tonight with some bedding and some hot tea, and I'll have Miles bring you groceries in the morning. Don't drink the tea. Don't drink the tea. 
Don't be a stranger. Let us know if you need anything, okay? Don't drink the tea. I think it's fine if they drink tea. Can we have hot cocoa instead? Yeah. I believe it's time for me to get my daughter home as well. But... Kanika, dear, you haven't been feeling well. You need to get some rest. Oh, no. Okay. Kanika warily tracks back to the general store. Before I go, Sybil places a hand on your arm, holding you back for a moment. I'm sure you have questions after everything you saw tonight, but let's not get into it here. Yeah, namely, what the fuck, Sybil? Yeah, also, I really have to pee, so I hope this wraps up oh, soon. Yeah. I think everyone could use a little rest and relaxation right now, yourself included. If you swing by the tea room sometime tomorrow, say, early afternoon, you and I can have a little chat. Oh my god, she just winked at us. Oh god. I'll see you then, Kiwi Ant. Sybil leaves you and catches up to her daughter. Oh, and then it's just us. It's just us. You can't help but overhear snippets of their conversation as they leave. My whole body hurts, Mom. What was that? I want a better aware answer than a ghost. It was a spirit, dear. I've never been a fan of the word ghost. You'll be all right. Let me get you some of that specialty. It's been working well, don't you think? I think ibuprofen would be better, but I gotta admit, the tea has been nice. Oh, there's something in the tea. There's something in the tea! I'll put the kettle on as soon as we get home. Uh, I guess it's just the two of us now. And then Tabby in the background's like, <coughs> <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh yeah, he's kind of the, they're the, kind of the only one we don't know. Yeah. So. So you have no idea who you were? I could roughly place most of the others. None whatsoever. But I remember everything I said, and I remember that cold feeling. Prisoner of the Scarlets. I wonder what your family was up to back then. I guess we can add it to the ever-growing pile of mysteries. Um. What do, what you, do you remember? Yeah. As far as I know, all of it. I might start forgetting soon, but for now, it's all fresh. The twisting wasn't the most pleasant, but even though I feel like I got tossed in a blender, it honestly made me feel so alive. Oh, kinky. Oh. So, you don't regret coming along tonight? Look, that was a horrible experience that will stick with me for the rest of my days. But it was also kind of amazing for that. I don't know if that makes sense, but how many other people could say they were possessed by a ghost? Uh, I guess you've got some shared trauma with everyone now. I guess so, yeah. I guess you finally got some shared trauma with everyone now. Avery chuckles, then grabs at their ribs, wincing. Oh no. Yeah. Yes, I do, huh? Avery, do you need me to kiss it better? Let me help. <laughs> I, I know tonight was horrific, but it was also thrilling, and knowing we all went through it together makes it easier. There are people there are people to commiserate with tomorrow morning when the soreness really starts to set in. Which reminds me, I'd better get back home. I'm supposed to have a shift tomorrow morning. I might have to call in sick, but just hoping a good night's sleep is enough to heal up. Oh, Avery heads off, leaving the square in front of the library empty. Time to wrap things up here. Go back to the estate. Back to the estate. The ride back is nearly silent as you and Tabitha reflect on the night's events and your decision to leave the haunting intact. So I guess ghosts are real. You know, I'm glad we're both still in one piece. I feel like that's really the only one worth yeah. exploring with Tabitha, yeah. I'm glad we're both still in one piece. Me too. It's like Sybil said, it's done and there's nothing we can do about it other than move on. Right in silence. Yeah. You slide back into silence as the car makes its way back to the estate. You're back inside. After the events of this evening, the howling winds and unsteady creaks of the estate almost feel like a warm welcome. Well, we're back. Oh boy, this so Oh my god. Oh no. All right, let's let's talk about Wayne. Yeah, let's talk about Wayne. I want to talk about Wayne. Really talk. 
your cousin's size. What do you want to know? Uh, why I think that's the most important one. What? Do you think he's, you think he's actually going to hurt Stella? Yeah. Do you think he's actually going to hurt Stella? No. He's a creep, but I don't think he has it in him to hurt her. And I don't know if you've noticed, but Stella is irritatingly resourceful. She'll be fine. Uh, so Wayne's a he now. Okay. Back in the ghost realm, he was an it. Does it really matter? I was scared in there, and right now I'm so exhausted I can barely think straight. Who cares if Wayne is a he or an it anyways? Either way, he's bad news, and you'd best steer clear. Uh, you really don't want me talking to him. What does he know that you're afraid of? What does he know that you're afraid I'll find out? I just know him. Please trust me when I say he's bad news. Why is he fo I think, why is he following me? Yeah. Why is he following me? He's a creep. Stalking his ex his ex's cousin. What? His ex's cousin! Hey, remember the miners were saying that Wade was dating just like this horrible, shrill harpy of a person? Yeah. Just like this absolutely yep. terrible woman? All the more reason to not talk to him. He's a different man now. Stay away from him. Why is he all gross? <laughs> why is he all gross? He's sick or something. Probably part of why he's such a creepy weirdo now. I don't know if it's contagious, but I wouldn't rule it out, so don't go near him. Mm. Leave it at that. Yeah, leave it at that. He's Okay, do you think Stella's okay? Like, emotionally, she wandered off back there. I'm worried about her. Yeah. Okay, let's, let's get through this. She has an uncanny way of bouncing back from things. She'll be fine. Uh, what's gonna happen? What's to gonna happen to the library? It'll stay boarded up until a real ghost hunter comes in or something. Or maybe Charlie will just get fed up and disappear. I don't know how ghosts work. That's not how ghosts work, That's Tabby. That's not how ghosts work. And it's not our problem now anyway. The important thing is we both get out, got out of there, and even though everybody got banged up, nobody died. I won't even charge Oscar and Rosalina much rent for the old Maxwell place. Out of the kindness of my heart, I'm sure they'll find something soon. Uh, how did you know to call Sybil? That's a good question. How did you know to call Sybil? Who else would I have called? The cops? I believe you've seen their competence on full display. Sure have. Besides, I'm sure you've heard that old woman talk. If anyone in this town would have known how to deal with a ghost, it'd be her, right? Mmm, press X to doubt. Mmm. Uh... Okay, I don't know about you... I feel pretty traumatized right now. Yeah. <laughs> there it is! The, oh, the friendly smile! That's great! Now you're really a Scarlet. Let this be a lesson to you, Kiwi Ant. Do we want to ask oh. about the strike? No, I don't think so. All right, it's time for me to turn in. Yeah, all right. I think it's time for me to turn in. That's a good idea. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Don't keep poking around looking for trouble. You just have to make it to the funeral. Four more days. That's all. And then the bus comes. Hey, Tabby, when the bus comes, why don't you come with me? Uh, I mean, you know, I don't have to. Ooh, I don't have to leave the holler. Yeah, there's a very, very nice person working at the diner that I'm very interested yeah, in. Yeah, that I want to bang. I mean, yeah. let's let's do that. I, I think yeah. I like that one. You know, I don't have to leave the holler. I could get used to this place. That's good to hear. It would be nice not being the only Scarlet left. Anyway, night. See you tomorrow. Yeah, time to go to bed. You don't even notice yourself entering the guest room and falling into bed. Suddenly, you're just there, buried under your family's musty covers. It's Wednesday night. Nearly half a week has passed since you first arrived in town, and a little over half a week remains until the bus comes to take you home. The spirit of Charles Shaw Jr. now commands the entirety of City Hall, a swirling void of wrath and despair that the people of this town will have to learn to ignore. Disaster looms its tallest yet over Scarlet Hollow. You know, I you know, I think he's he'll do a better job than the dog mayor. Mm. <laughs> Probably. Oh. This is such a great story. I'm floored by this. 
like no wonder it takes so long for episodes to come out because like mm-hmm. the production values on on this is they're so good yeah i think it's just a team of two people oh jesus yeah hey red how many people are working on this game i know it's not a lot oh uh. yeah there he is ah oh. Interesting that his marionette strings are red. Yeah. Like the red string of fate. Oh. Oh, I was right. Two people. Episode four awaits. If you'd like to save before continuing, please do so now. We're going to do that, and we're going to fucking call it. Yep. Uh, okay. Man, all right. We are going to pick up with episode four on Monday. Thank you so much, guys, for tuning in. Really hope you enjoyed this. Uh... I'm over the moon over how good this game is. Like, goddamn. And uh, to anyone who's watching later or, or whatever, don't forget to follow us on Twitter at O Receivables. Uh, Blue Sky, a cult receivable. You can follow me on both places uh, at Tamazmataz. Thank you very much, very much. So, yeah, thank you very much for watching, everybody. Have a good night. Good night.